this is the problem a very weak signal in the house I sometimes can catch a 4G signal but as you can see it's very weak this signal is not perfect but at least it's in the green zone and this is what I can find uphill uh, in front of the house but across the road so I need to find a solution how to get there this is what I have in mind finding an outdoor router where I can place a SIM card then creating a bridge between that system and my network in the house where I also have a Wi-Fi router first I need to identify my current network settings so press the key with the Windows logo together with R then you get the run window type in CMD for comment then you will get a DOS console where you can type in ipconfig or he like here ipconfig space slash all which gives me the information I need the IP address of my local uh, router is 192.168.01 I first sh explain the ipconfig command because it's a command that you may use quite often uh, to identify and fix uh, network problems but you can also use a network analyzer like this one which is DP scan it's a free program and very powerful indeed so why, why do I need all this just because in this location there is no signal or a very weak one and I notice that uphill uh, across the road in front of the house there is a, a signal almost three bars so when I'm about this device it's a kit consisting of two units the outdoor unit which work as an antenna in fact the PCB the printer circuit board has two, two antennas here we have one connector for the Ethernet cable and one slot where I can place the SIM card it must be that size of SIM card just insert it in there like this until you hear the click and that it is done click. the other unit is connected through an Ethernet cable with the indoor unit where I have the WAN connector and two LAN connectors what I'm going to do this will be placed uphill in front of the house and I will need to make a bridge between this Wi-Fi router and my Wi-Fi router here at home which is my DHCP router now I'm going to show how to set up this kit so what I need to do now this is the, uh, the power supply connect the power supply to, to the indoor unit connect the indoor unit to the outdoor unit and connect the indoor unit to the computer We can now access the outdoor unit with Internet Explorer. Most of the IP devices do have 192.168.01 or 192.168.11 as IP address. This one is the same as my local router, in fact, which is 01. I will have to change this. Username and password are admin admin this is the next page we need now to click on device settings then click on DHCP settings you see the IP address is 01 the same as my main router in the house so I need to change it being 192.168.02 I also disabled the DHCP server function in case the other unit will be your main router then you have to keep this DHCP server function. Next click on WLAN settings and you will notice that the uh, 
indoor unit also has the same IP 01. To change this, click on Edit. You will get this screen. I changed the IP address being 192.168.03. I did not follow the example because 100 is exactly in the frame of my house network. Also, you can change the SSID or the name of the network that will appear and the security key. I need to enable the bridge mode function which is on the one settings. When you click on save you get this message box asking you whether you confirm or not. If you click on OK the, um, the changes will, will be made and the system will reboot. Here the device is rebooting which takes several minutes so do this when all the changes are made. After rebooting you will get this page. You are not connected to a network. No panic, this is just normal because the changes have been applied and your router is not a DHCP server anymore. So you, what you need to do is to disconnect your internet kit from the computer, connect your house router back to the computer and connect your internet kit to that router. It will be possible to access your outdoor unit using the new in IP address which is 192.168.02. I highly recommend to change the uh, unit username and password. You can see here, look at the red arrow in the upper left corner. I could open this page by using the new address which is 192.168.02. The last step in this sequence is to change your username, which can be done on this page. So I disconnected the internet kit from the main router and plugged it in uh, outside in front of the house. Now I could open my local router and you can see the address is 192.168.01 and I get first an empty page. So I need to click on status to access the logging page. <coughs> Nothing special here, I only have to enter my password. My house router has identified the internet kit and I actually selected WISP. What I need to do now is to click on OK. Going back to the status page, I can see that the system is now bridging. Everything went fine, I'm now connected and I can serve the internet. Two devices are attached, which are my computer and my smartphone. What I can do now is installing the Internet Kit outside uphill. So that's where I will have my outdoor unit on the top of my water tank. Over there, and the inner unit the front of that little house in the plastic box. There. So I'm not Martin Scorsese so I don't have a budget to have someone who shoot the video for me. This one there that will place the outdoor unit. And you can see there in the background the house. And there, well, I will place the indoor unit. Well, unfortunately, it's close to midday and the sun is above us. Don't know if we can see it. So I plugged in the uh, RG45 connector, and I will close this with this cap here, which is waterproof. So now it's on location. Or the orientation, unfortunately, the only compass I have is that little stuff here. Hopefully, it'll do it. Well, at this stage, I'm preparing the box for the indoor unit, and this is actually a receiver 
or a, a remote control so I can turn off turn off the device from from the house so. and we put actually double side tape here to fix the unit so it's done just have to put the screws over there So now it's in place, an overview of the final situation, so you can see over there the box with the so-called outdoor unit, and over there the house, where I have my other router. So this is the final result, I have uh, more than acceptable internet connection now, almost in the middle of nowhere I must say. Mm -hmm.